Y'all show your love now. From Oakland, California. Y'all show your love for Kirk McHenry. Competitions in my house. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Love being home. Because they had the first two rounds out in Pleasanton. Black comedy competition in Pleasanton. That don't go together. You know, Oakland ain't far from Pleasanton, but I was taking Bart out to that motherfucker. I do not drive to Pleasanton because they got cops out there to take their job too goddamn serious. I'm from East Oakland, I like East Oakland cops. I like a nigga that's on the job for the check but really don't give a fuck what's going on. I like the kind of cop pull up on me like, hey, you got weed in that car? No. You want some? Pleasanton cops, Alameda cops, all them cops, they get behind you and you a black man driving out there and they get behind you, start thinking weird shit like, I'll snitch on the nigga I'm riding with just to get away. They pull you over like, you know how we stop you? Be like, yep, and this nigga has warrants. No, nigga, get out. Get out. And they got a bar in here, so I know y'all drinking. How many of y'all drinking? Round of applause. How many of y'all drinking? Those that know me know I love to drink. I love alcohol. I hate all the little slogans they had to try to make you quit. You hear them all the time. Oh, friends don't let friends drive drunk. How the fuck we gonna get home? You like, what, it's a sleepover now? And I'm like most men, I do everything better when I'm drunk, like drive. I was coming home the other night on 880, I was fucked up. Saw one of those Amber Alert signs, you know the ones that say report drunk drivers down 911? But I was drunk, so all I saw was drunk drivers down 911. I was like, shit, I thought I had one something. I called the lady, like, hello 911, I was like, hey, I'm drunk. She was like, sir, where are you? I'm like, damn, bitch, you know you. <laughs> Gotta be careful with this, though. Be careful, especially black men. Be careful with this alcohol. Alcohol is a drug, people. And don't nobody get drunk like black men. Black men, we get drunk, we take it to a whole nother level. We forget how to do simple shit, like finish a sentence. You ever talk to a drunk black man, he'll say something to you like, shit, I shit. <laughs> My nigga. And alcohol is the only drug that will let you know if you had too much the night before. You know what I'm saying? I got drunk one time and went to work the next morning. I'm sitting at my desk on my computer and I knew I drank too much because all of a sudden my stomach went, oh. And then my right ass cheek started twitching all by itself. And I'm sitting there thinking, damn, I gotta take a shit at work. And I don't care how nice your office is, don't nobody like shit at work. But I got lucky when I went to the bathroom because there wasn't nobody in there. And I don't know about y'all, but when I'm shitting, I need room. So I went to the handicap stall. I don't know if you ever been to the handicap stall, but you can play fucking handball in the handicap stall. And I'm in there blowing this bathroom up with that. I drank too much look on my face and my hand on my head, my elbow and my thigh. I'm like, oh God, what was I thinking about last night? All of a sudden, somebody walked in, my ass went, wham! And whoever it was that walked in just went, damn, turn around and walk back out. So now I'm sitting here thinking that they just go, damn, and leave. But they do like, I would have done a look at the person's shoes like, damn, and then walk out. So now I'm in there trying to wipe my ass real fast before they can get out there and put two and two together. I'm walking around the office in my fucking socks, okay, nobody see my shoes. I'm walking by people's desks, they like, ooh, do you smell that? I don't know if they talk about my socks or my ass. I'm like, fuck this, I'm sick, I'm going home, I don't need this kind of shit. But other than that, other than that, I'm in a good place in my life, man. I'm in a good place, I'm in a relationship, I got a beautiful woman in my life, I love her to death. Man, if you got a good woman in your life, treat her like the queen that she is. I love my woman, love her to death. But she, does she younger than me, she like 10 years younger than me. And she do shit that young women do that women my age don't do. Like she thinks shit is sexy that ain't sexy. 
Like we watching a movie, the couple in the movie taking a shower together. She's like, oh, that's so sexy. We should take a shower together. That's so sexy. I'm like, shit, no, it ain't. Because me and you know, ain't nothing sexy about taking a shower with your woman. That's the quickest way in the world to get fucking sick. It's sexy for her because she's standing in that hot ass water with the steam coming up. You're standing in the back like a cold ass slave. You're like, ooh, shit, you, you look so good on that water the way the steam coming off your shoulders and whatnot. Ooh, you think maybe I can get a little bit of this baby, a little bit pee, pee, pee? Either that or you in the back looking like that slow kid from school, like my mama said, you gotta wash me too. She has kids. I don't have kids. You know what I'm saying? I don't have kids. Those of y'all that got kids, I'll tell you this, discipline your kids. Like I said, I don't have no kids, but I hit yours like they mine. I swear. Because kids are different now, man. They do different shit. They talk shit to you, talk, talk to the hand. You're like, what, a broke wrist? <laughs> and I saw the funniest shit, man. I went to see Castleman play De La Salle from Concord in basketball. And the funniest shit, have you seen the cheerleaders, how they do these little callback cheers and they be going back and forth? I like the little white girls, they go to like cheer camp every year, you know the ones that be like, all oh, still like, ready? Okay! Like that, right? They decided they was gonna call these little black girls out the best cheer they could come up with. They're like, ready? Okay! You, G, L, Y, you don't have an alibi, you're ugly. You're ugly. Little black girls was like, one, two, three, four, five, we gonna meet you hoes outside, believe that shit. Oh, believe that shit. Little white girls like, are they fucking serious? Then be honest with your kids. If you know your kids ain't really that cute, some of y'all don't know if your kids are cute or not. You know how you find out if your kids are cute or not? Take them to an all-black church. Let them old black women, the ones that saved now, they did they dirt in the 60s, but they saved now. But they don't lie. If they look at your kid and tell it, they compliment his outfit before his appearance, oh, that motherfucker ugly. They're like, oh, look at him in his little suit. That little black face man, blue suit girl, he look like a little bruise. And like I said, don't be afraid to whip your kids' ass. People, bad kids will bring your property value down. Don't nobody want to live nowhere where there's no bad kids. You don't even want to visit nobody that, like that. I went to pick up my friend for a show one time. I pulled up in the neighborhood, all these little thugs out there hanging out with their pants hanging off their ass and music playing, they smoking and drinking. I'm like, damn, I gotta walk right by them. I walked by, one of them jumped out in front of me, like, who the fuck is you coming around here about unannounced and shit? What you, the police? I'm like, nah, man, I want to pick up my friend. She lived in the house right there. He was like, yeah, you lucky we know that bitch. We're gonna give you a pass this time. So I walk by, right? I get in her house and I'm sitting on the couch. She can see I'm kind of shook. She's like, what's wrong with you? I was like, man, Piedmont has fucking changed. 